In our next video here, we're going to drill some of those holes that we laid out in the last one. We need these uh, holes drilled to later put the traction spikes on. So here I am just going through. I'm looking at the size of the screws that I have. I'm trying to uh, get a bit that's just a little bit oversized. Uh, later, this will kind of be a mistake and I'll bore these holes out, but um, for right now, I was just trying to get you know, just a little bit oversized of my screws. So here I am at my drill press. I've got the, the bit in hooked up. I have the stop pad there with all the different holes laid out. And I'm um, adjusting the table up uh, to the correct height. I just locked it down there so that table won't move around. And uh, here I go into it. One interesting thing with this aluminum, it, it's actually pretty thin, so as I was drilling, it would actually flex and bend that aluminum to a certain degree, which later we go back, and uh, I'll flatten this out a little bit later in this video, but here I am checking. You'll notice that that hole's not big enough initially, and it's kind of tight. I get it through, but... Uh, probably want to make a, a few changes to that. It'll take me a little while to drill these holes. There's nothing special about this. Aluminum's really easy to drill. It's very soft metal or material. You can go right through it. Uh, these bits, uh, I believe they're carbon, carbon uh, drill bits, but again, nothing special. Now next we have to clean that up. Those holes that we drilled, really aluminum is pretty soft and it pushes out or extrudes out the back and we're going to need to clean that up. So I have a, a deburring tool. This is a pretty common tool if you're a machinist in any way, shape or form. You take off a lot of uh, machined edges with this. Uh, whatever, they're ten dollars. You can get them about anywhere but uh, you can clean out holes, uh, edges of machine parts. It just cuts that little lip off, uh, makes it a little bit safer to handle. I'm using it so I don't have to re-grind mainly, that's mainly it, uh, to grind all that uh, aluminum that's sticking up there. Kind of like I said, when we were drilling those holes, that aluminum's pretty thin and there was a lot of, uh, you know, unsupported areas. And so it uh, bent the stomp pad and all I'm doing here is using a dead blow hammer. I'm hammering it flat and really you're going for the different bend points. You'll see, kind of going for forward, I, I tap on it a little bit and you, that's really to see how much it's sticking up or where it's actually bent. Just solid flat hammer blows will uh, straighten that out for you.
I do kind of a quick sand, uh, and that's about it.